Issuance of Stock Basics Problem 1. Mango Inc. had the following transactions in its first year of operations. Issued 40,000 shares of common stock. Stock has par value of $1 per share and was issued at $23 per share. Earned net income of $71,000. Paid no dividends. At the end of the first year, what is the total stockholders' equity? We're looking for total stockholders' equity. Now remember, on a balance sheet, you have assets equals liability plus owner's equity or stockholders' equity. We're dealing with corporations here, specifically asking about a corporation, Mango Inc., stockholders' equity. So we're talking about stockholders' equity. Stockholders' equity is broken into two parts, the paid in capital section and also the retained earnings. Now we have our friendly acronym, W-I-R-E. That's right, WIRE. We use that a lot in various problems. W-I-R-E, W for withdrawals, I for investments, R for revenue, E for expenses. This applies whether the business is a corporation, partnership, sole proprietorship, limited liability company, doesn't matter. WIRE is still there to help you, help guide you in understanding how to increase and decrease various things when it comes to the equity side of the balance sheet. Our good friend, always remember WIRE. The W for drawing or W for a draw, that's the same idea in a corporation as dividends. So dividends equal withdrawals when it comes to sole proprietorship or partnership. Same idea. It's when the owners are taking money out of the business. The I is investment. That's where we have the paid in capital. That's going to be the issuance of stock, whether it's common or preferred, whether it's for par value or in excess of par or no par. That's all the I. So the W, the R, and the E, which is the withdrawal, the revenue and expenses. And again, for corporations, the withdrawal is going to be the um, dividends, the dividends. The R and the E are the revenue expenses. So RE here equals retained earnings, and the RE in wire, which we have down here, is revenue and expenses. So net income, net loss go into these items. So all we have to do is just go through the information presented. Now, one thing to know, it's, it's the first year of operations, and that's extremely important because retained earnings, the idea of retained earnings is you're retaining your earnings just as it suggests. If you are in the first year, that means your beginning balance, your beginning balance in retained earnings is how much? How much is the beginning balance in retained earnings? It's zero because you are in year one. Now, there's going to be an ending balance retained earnings, and that is where we cut, we look at the dividends that took place during the year, the revenue, the expenses, which are also known as net income, net loss. We're told paid no dividends, so the dividends are zero, and then the revenue expense, we have net income, which is the net revenue, of $71,000. That means that our retained earnings is going to be a positive $71,000 positive 71,000. So dividends reduce retained earnings, revenue increases it, expenses decrease. Here we have a net income, which is a net revenue. A net loss is a net expense. So keep that in mind. Okay. Now specifically on the balance sheet, on the total stockholders equity, that side, you always start with the paid in capital side first. Paid in capital is going to be the investments. That's going to be when you issue stock, whether common or preferred. Remember that every corporation has to at least have common stock. You can have preferred stock, but if you have preferred stock, you must have common stock as well. You don't have to have preferred stock. The idea is that the title, as it suggests, preferred stock has a preference over common with respect to various things on liquidation, when it comes to certain dividends, et cetera, et cetera. There's various preferences. And there's benefits and trade-offs of risk and reward for being a common versus a preferred shareholder. The paid-in capital here, which again is the I, the investments, we're told that the Mango, ish, Mango Inc., <laughs> the Mango, Mango Inc., it issued 40,000 shares of common stock during this first year. The stock has a par value of $1 and was issued at $23. Now, we would break out the uh, par value common stock. We would break it out here by, let me separate this. So I put the beginning balance of retained earnings, my apologies. Let's separate that, keep that over here. Let's put a little line, because now we're looking at the actual stockholders equity section of the balance sheet. And at the top, you're gonna have the paid in capital of the balance sheet. So you're gonna have the paid in capital at the top. We're gonna have the common stock. We're gonna break that out. That's gonna be the par value of the stock, which we're told $1, so that's $40,000. 
And then the difference between 23 and 1 is 22. And we're going to multiply that $22 per share by 40,000 shares. We're going to get $880,000. That is our paid in capital in excess of par common. So I'll just put in excess, and that is $880,000. So our paid in capital section of the balance sheet, we're going to have a total of $920,000. Then we do our retained earnings. Again, the retained earnings balance started at zero. The retained earnings for the year was just the positive $71,000. So beginning balance, we'll do a little side calculation here, a little subtotal. Um, and then increase to retained earnings for the year is $71,000. So that leaves our ending retained earn earnings balance at $71,000. And we can adjust our paid in, I'm sorry, we can adjust our stock or equity. So the total is going to be the $920,000 plus the $71,000. When you sum those two numbers together, you get $991,000. And that is the answer to the total stock or equity. So make sure you go through this, understand what's going on. It's not too difficult. I broke it down in wire and all the various basics. Of course, this is the first problem in a set. So we're, we'll continue on with this um, and with other problems. This is kind of setting the baseline for you.